Welcome to a first class in Adobe Illustrator for beginners course. Now, in this lesson, we're going to learn about creating an artboard. Now, the same way we have uh, spreadsheets for Excel, um, documents for Word, and slides for PowerPoint in Adobe Illustrator, we call the area that we're working on an artboard. And it is possible to have more than one artboard. At the same time, like in Microsoft Word, you can have up to 10 pages when you're working on a document. So in Adobe Illustrator, you can have more than one artboards at the same time. So once you open Illustrator for the first time, it will give you these options. You can create a new document or open an existing document. So we'll click on Create New. And this will open some presets for in Illustrator. Now it depends with what you're working on. If you want something to print out, you'll just come over here. If you're working with something for film and video, art illustration, for your web or your mobile, you will have all those presets over here. So over here we have the saved ones and the recent ones that you've been working on. So I'll select an A4 and as you can see, I have the details, the properties of that page at this side. So we have its width, its height, its orientation, and the number of artboards. So if you want four, you just have to put four. But for now, I'm just going to work with one. And we have the color mode, the rust effect, and the preview. Now, a little tip, if you want to print out whatever you're working on, make sure that CMYK color is selected. But if you're working for something for your mobile or for the web, Make sure that you select the RGB color mode. So we're going to leave it as it is and we're not going to touch anything over here. And then we're going to click on create. Now this will open up our artboard and you can see the interface has changed. To the left, you have some tools over here. You can see all the tools we have. And to the right, we have some panels that we're going to go through in our next lesson. At the top here, we have some properties involving the artboard that we're working on, but we're going to look at every single one of these in detail in our following lessons.